Hey guys and welcome back to another great Lightworks video. So today in this video we're going old school. I'm going to show you the many ways you can edit a video with not only advanced cinematics and effects but as well basic ones too. The basic ones can be the most effective ones and great news is that they're very easy to learn. What I mean is the simple transitions such as wipe and fade but also tips and tricks for the speed of the video. So what you're going to do is start off by importing your video of course, which I already have done. Then right click on the timeline and click add effects and under mixes click on dissolve. So dissolve should appear in a effects box to the right hand side of the screen as you can see. Dissolve is your typical fade effect which is basically great for any video type especially at the ending of videos. So as you can see if I would just click on the clock icon it makes the video darker. If I would turn the percentage up it will make it darker until it becomes completely black and I'll tell you why it is great for the ending of videos. So now we're going to start off by clicking on the clock icon this clock icon is to add keyframes to the video next what you want to do is drag the red line to the very start of the video and change the mount value to zero so depending on your lightworks program it might uh, have already done that so this tells the software to change the entire video to zero percent because we want the ending only to fade out so that's the reason why you should make the entire video 0% then go to the frame that you want the fade effect to happen so for example we want it to happen at the end the pretty much the vet um, close to the end so around say 25 seconds so now after you've done that go to the effects box located on your right hand side again and click on the little plus symbol and click on that it should create a little triangle on the timeline of the effects box this t triangle is a keyframe so after that you go to your keyboard and you click on the right arrow key which moves one frame forward and you click on the plus icon again to create another keyframe and you go back to the previous one by clicking on the left arrow key and now you're going to change the percentage to 0% this technique is used to separate the video into two so you can understand which part of the video you want to add the dissolve effect as you can see when I change the frames the, the opacity of it changes so as I move from one frame to the other it changes. Next is to go back to the second frame and change it to 0% as well. So go to the second keyframe that you made and change it to 0%. Why you may ask? Well you're going to find out. Finally drag the red line to the very end of the video. Now here's a tip you should keep as it saves a lot of time. Instead of trying to find the last frame of your video go to the effects box and drag the red line this red diamond here on the effects box under the time line drag it all the way to the very end this saves so much time as this time this timeline here is for that particular video while the main timeline is for many videos anyway do that and click on the keyframe button again and change the amount value to 100 percent so now if we would play it from near the end as you can see this technique is very simple to understand yet many people still disregard this to put it into simple terms, we have essentially created two parts of one video using keyframes and then told Lightworks that we want to add the dissolve effect in the second part of the video. The next two effects are just part of, the crea of your creative mind. 
because it doesn't have the simplicity of the dissolve effect but of course you can still use it. Those two effects are the push and squeeze effects. These are similar but they have one major difference. Once again use the same technique from the previous effects. There you go guys. I hope you enjoy video editing but now to the next part of the tutorial. As mentioned earlier we can change the speed of the video. This is another simple trick yet many people just don't know how to use it. Go to the bottom right hand corner of the main timeline and click on advance. An option should appear on your right hand side. Now in the same line of the V1 video bar, this here, you should see a dialog box with a percentage in it. So the same line, percentage. Click on the box and choose a percentage you want the video to play. A value greater than 100% will increase the speed of the video whilst a value below 100% will decrease the speed of the video. Here's a problem I'm going to tell you guys because depending on the video the speed increase or decrease may lengthen or shorten your vi the video therefore the duration of the video when at normal speed will still show on the timeline so you're going to have to end up cutting it because you're going to end up with blank space as you can see here so if I would change the speed of it as you can see there are blank spaces right there so I've increased it to 200% speed increase and as you can see instead of making it stop at that point when the video becomes black it continues for about 3 seconds or so. So what you want to do is just simply cut it out using the delete key on the keyboard. He now here's another tip as speeds greater than 400% looks unusual and unnatural especially with people walking so I wouldn't recommend using a value but if you like it use it. Now the dissolve and the speed increase are two great effects that work well together so using them it will guarantee a professional looking video but you can use your creative mind to mix and match the effects to suit your needs. And this brings us to the end of the, of the tutorial if you do enjoy the video hit that like button share with your friends for more videos like this and finally if you do want more comment below and subscribe thanks a lot see you soon guys